Hello there, this is James, your tactical manager at Pandoc, and today is Monday, July 31st, 2017, and this video will be discussing the Zoho Serum integration with Pandoc native version. So what does this integration do? We will be able to create Pandoc documents within Zoho Serum for accounts, contacts, deals and potentials, leads and quote objects. You will be able to use your Zoho Serum contact roles to bring over contact information directly into your Pandoc documents via Pandoc template roles. You'll be able to send Zoho CRM fields and custom fields data to Pandoc via tokens and text fields. We use the deal potential and quote product information to send to Pandoc pricing tables. And we'll be able to track Pandoc documents directly inside of your Zoho CRM object. So which Zoho CRM plans be able to work with this integration? All Zoho CRM plans can use this integration, but you need access to Zoho CRM Marketplace in order to install this integration. If you do not have access to Zoho CRM Marketplace, you need to contact Zoho CRM support. Before you need to get started, you always want to make sure you, don't ha you have a Pandoc account, and if you don't have one, you can sign up one from right here. So step one, we need to talk about the installation of the integration. So first, we need to log into your Pandoc account. You can click on right here. In order to install, you must be logged in. Next, we need to enable the Zoho CRM native integration through the Pandoc add-on store. So we go to Integrations, Category, Find Zoho CRM, and use the green button to click on Add to Pandoc. So let's do that real quickly. So here we are inside of Pandoc. We go down into the add-on store. And this is going to list of all the add-ons we have for Pandoc. We go into Integrations. You're going to find an option right here called Zoho CRM. You click on this and you click on Add to Pandoc or Add to your account to get this enabled. Once enabled, you go back down into individual settings, and then you click on Integrations, and you're going to have an option right here for Zoho CRM, where you click on this, and it'll walk you through the installation process. Let's go back to the FAQ, and as we scroll down, next, we have to install this integration in Zoho CRM. And we do that by gaining access to Zoho Marketplace. We can click on this link, and in turn, it's going to take you to this individual page that has some information about this integration. Over here on the right-hand side, you click on a button here called Install Now. It will walk you through the installation process of this, including the authorization and, of course, in order to select uh, which team members will have access to the integration available right here as part of uh, Choose Your User Slash Profiles. Once done, you receive a message that your installation has been installed successfully. As we continue to go down here, we'll take into where it's installed. So let me go into Zoho CRM. Over here in the upper right, we click on the gear icon, then we click on Setup. Next, we want to go click on the Marketplace, and we have Panadoc should show right here, which you can click on Configure, and this in turn is giving you some additional details and information, including a user guide and installed components of where this is going to be showed up inside of your uh, Zoho Serum account. You're going to have an option right here in order to authorize that, so you're going to need to click on the Authorization option to go through that individual process. Back to the FAQ, once we scroll down, this talks about the connection. The last step is that we have to do this inside of Zoho in Panadoc integration setup. We need to copy the API key from Zoho CRM into your Panadoc account in order to make sure that's connected. And here's some instruction in how to generate a token from Zoho and, of course, how to use that inside of your individual Panadoc account. So once it's been fully connected, we could talk about where we can use this. So let's go back to Zoho CRM. And once again, we could do this from the lead object, contact object, accounts object, deals slash potentials, depending on your name and convention, and of course, the quotes object as well. But for example here today, let's go into the deals object. We're going to click on a deal called Demo Deal for July 2017. Over here in the upper right hand side, here's where you can see this information, how the integration is installed, and we have two options. We can send with Pandoc, and of course we showed the Pandoc tokens. So let's go back to the FAQ, scroll down here, and then we need to talk about how we can set up our Pandoc templates to pull in information from Zoho CRM. And we have to do this by two different methods. First is we could use things called contact roles. So inside of this individual deal, you can scroll all the way down and you'll have an option here for contact roles. And this contact role is, is the contact who is associated with the individual deal. And we could set this up in order to send over the first name, the last name, the email address, and the company information uh, automatically as long as we connect the two Pandoc role names together called Decision Maker from Zoho to Pandoc. So let's go into my Pandoc account, and we're going to go into something called Templates. 
and I'm going to open up an individual template for this integration called the Zoho Integration Template Master. And over here on the right hand side, we go down into roles, you notice that we do have a same role name here called Decision Maker. Because we do that, we click on content and we click on tokens, you're going to see four tokens for first name, last name, email address, and company that you can click on and in turn use throughout the course of your template to populate this information. What you want to make sure though that the contact role names match up depending on what you use inside of Zoho. The other thing of course we do is all the fields that are associated with inside of Zoho CRM. And we can click on this once again, we can click on show Pandoc tokens. And what this does, this is going to give us a list of all the tokens that we could use and provides you the information of the values to pass this information over. So because of the Zoho integration, we do have to be able to cross-reference uh, object information because we are starting with a deal. However, there is a contact associated with this and account associated with the deal as well. So if we want to use, example, a uh, deal token, all that we need to do here is we highlight that individual token, copy, and then in turn paste this into your Pandoc templates, for example, as you see right here. And we've done this with the account information, we've done this for the potential slash deal information. If you're using from quotes, we could do from quotes as well, and of course all the contact information as well. We also have the ability in order to use our product information from deals from Zoho. So as we scroll up here a little bit, we do have this product information as well, which sends over the product name, which of course is our website's design setup. Uh, the unit price and the description tool, and we do this by using Pandoc pricing tables as well. So inside of our template, once again inside of Pandoc, we scroll down here at the bottom, and we also have an option right down here at the bottom for our individual pricing table. Over here on the right hand side, you notice all the pricing table fields or information how you can define this table itself, but down here at the bottom you can have this option called automatically add products to this table. And this must be set to the on position in order to accept product information from Zoho to your Pandoc templates slash documents. All right. So let's go back up the top here. Let's go back to our FAQ. Let's close out of that. And as we, we talked about, of course, the deal and role information, how we could do that right here. And of course, our token information. And of course, how do we show tokens inside of Zoho CRM. And of course, how we use them inside of our Pandoc account. Here's a great list of example tokens that you could use as well. For example, of using roles, using account information, all the deal uh, tokens that you could use, quote tokens, contact as well, and of course leads. So you can simply use this right from here as well if you want to copy this stuff right directly into your Pandoc templates. Uh, we also have the ability for using custom fields, remember, so we do have many different types of custom fields that you can build inside of Zoho CRM, and we do have specific instructions in order to use those. We just recommend that you check out this individual page. We also have the ability to use the passing information to using fields as well. So we have these things called fields or ways to capture information from our recipients, but you can also use this to auto-populate token values as well by using text fields. And of course, we talked about the product information, how we can send that over from Zoho CRM to Pandoc as well. As we continue to go down here, let's go ahead and give this a try of sending out a document through Zoho CRM. So let me go into my deal. So once again, because we do have a contact associated with this by the name of Tony Stark, his information would automatically populate, plus we have a whole bunch of different tokens that we're using, or field information, and of course our product information as well. So up here at the top, we go ahead and click on now, send with Pandoc. And this in turn is going to fire up Pandoc to be used to pull in this integration. I'm going to choose my individual template that I use here to create. So here we go. Give me a couple seconds while this populates. And I'm going to use my integration here. First thing you notice that my contact has been automatically assigned to that decision maker role because we're using that one-to-one -one connection to matching up roles. And then of course, all we need to do is click on start editing. Now, depending on uh, what you're going to be using your Pandoc templates for, you might have some tokens that may or may not fill out. For example, we have many, many different tokens inside of this template here, but you notice that the uh, prepared for account information has been populated. Here's our first name information or just uh, role information has been populated, our account information. You notice this field has been populated as well because we set that up. We also have potential information as well. However, no, no quote information did not populate because we're not starting from a quote inside of Zoho. Well, however, we're starting from a deal. However, if you're using a quote, that would populate there. And of course, here's all the contact information has been populated. 
And with leads, that did not populate because once again, we're not starting from a lead. We're starting from a deal inside of Zoho CRM. And of course, here's some uh, examples of the custom field information that's been populated. And of course, here's our document name. Uh, or product information has been passed over as well. All right. So all that we need to do now is we can click on send document. We don't have to worry about this. Click on continue. And we have a document name that pops up here. And we can put in uh, July 31st quote for Tony. And then we can click on save and continue. We got, do have an optional message screen that pops up here. We can click on save message, for example, drop in an example, a quick message, and we click on send the document out. Now, what's also great, everybody, is that we can also track these documents back inside of Zoho CRM. So let's go back inside of Zoho, and I'm going to do a quick refresh on my individual deal here. And because we have sent out this document, I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom. You notice we have a section here called Pandoc Documents, and this is going to put this information in here as well to let you know that this uh, individual um, um, you know, a document has been populated, and it would be a great way to track these documents going forward as well. So this is the Zoho Serum Integration Native with Pandoc. It's a fantastic integration. Many, many of our clients have been using Zoho for a very long time. And this is really the next version that we have for Pandoc and be able to use for Zoho in order to have a great workflow to get those documents sent out very, very quickly. And as always, if you do have any additional questions or concerns about this, please log into your Pandoc account and use the green help button found on the bottom right-hand side and reach out to us if you do have any questions or concerns. We thank you so much for checking out this integration in this video. You all have a fantastic and great day. Bye-bye.